Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at temperature sensors. Temperature measurement is carried out in the industry to know the temperature of the environment such as the temperature of the liquid in a furnace or winding of an electrical machine, and so on. Temperature is defined as a measure of the velocity of fluid particles and as a property that determines the degree of hotness or coldness or the level of heat and density of a body. The temperature measured at absolute zero is called absolute temperature. Absolute temperature can be obtained as absolute temperature, in Kelvin, equals thermometer reading in degree Celsius plus 273. The various instruments which are used for measuring temperature are, thermometers, bimetallic strips, electrical resistance thermometers, RTD, thermocouples, thermistors, thermopiles and, pyrometers which can either be total radiation pyrometer or optical pyrometer. So how do we physically measure temperature? We all know that we can measure temperature using a thermometer. This is a very basic design and is used for 100s of years. Thermometers consist of a sealed glass tube that is partly filled with some liquid like mercury or alcohol. As heat is applied, the liquid expands and rises in the glass tube. The height of the glass tube is divided up and marked with correlative temperatures. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and also freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. So as the liquid expands or contracts we can easily determine the temperature. This method is easy for human use, but is slow and is not the most highly reliable and accurate measurement method, and it also operates on a very pretty limited temperature range. So we need fast, accurate, reliable, and digital temperature readings which will allow controllers accurately monitor and control systems. A bimetallic strip is a very widely used method of temperature measurement. This method is based on the principle of thermal expansion of solids when there is a change in temperature. Bimetallic strip, as the name implies, consists of two metal strips with different degrees of thermal expansion firmly bonded together. When the strip is subjected to a temperature higher than the bonding temperature, the metal strip deforms due to the different degrees of expansion in one direction. When subjected to a temperature lower than the bonding temperature, it bends in the other direction. The deformation is a measure of the temperature and can be read off a calibrated scale. The longer the bimetal, the greater the bend and thus the sensitivity for temperature measurement. For this reason, a long bimetal strip is often wrapped into a coil. Depending on whether the bimetallic coil is twisted like a spiral or a screw helix, two different types can be distinguished. Bimetallic strips are economical, have negligible maintenance, provide stable operation, and are moderately accurate. However, they have a small range of operation and may undergo permanent deformation. An RTD, resistance temperature detector, is a transducer whose resistance varies with temperature. An RTD is a passive device which means it does not produce an output on its own. External electronic devices are used to measure the resistance of the transducer by passing a small electrical current through the transducer to generate a voltage. Big amount of external current can cause excessive power dissipation in the resistor of RTD and lead to excess heat, so to avoid this type of error, the current should be kept at a minimum level. This wiring diagram shows the simplest application of an RTD, called two-wire configuration. Three-wire and four-wire configurations provide more accurate measurements. The material used for RTDs is nickel, iron, platinum, copper, lead, tungsten, mercury, silver, etc. One of the most common RTDs is PT100 which consists of a thin film of platinum on a plastic film and shows a resistance of 100 ohms at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It offers excellent linear resistance temperature. Thermistors are temperature-sensitive variable resistors made of ceramic-like semiconducting materials such as metal oxides, cobalt, copper, nickel, and are widely used in industrial purposes. For Overcurrent protection Self-regulating heating elements Inrush current limiters Thermistors can be NTC or PTC. In NTC, negative temperature coefficient, thermistors, resistance decreases as temperature rises. NTCs are commonly used as inrush current limiters. While in PTC, positive temperature coefficient, thermistors, resistance increases as temperature increases. PTC thermistors are commonly used as overcurrent protection and in resettable fuses. The most common method of temperature measurement uses thermocouples and is based on the Seebeck effect. When two dissimilar metals are joined together an EMF will exist between two points which is primarily a function of the junction temperature. 
This principle is known as Seebeck effect. The EMF produced by the thermocouple loop is approximately given by below equation. Thermocouples need a reference measurement point called cold junction. The thermocouple junction is often exposed to extreme environments, while the cold junction is often mounted near the instrument location. Thermocouples are commonly used for furnaces, gas turbine combustion chamber, high temperature exhaust ducts, etc. The main limitation of thermocouples is its accuracy which doesn't make it the best solution for precise applications. Biometallic strips are economical and can be selected for low-cost projects. If accuracy is required and is considered as the key performance indicator, usually, RTDs are better than thermocouples, approximately 10 times more accurate. From the sensitivity point of view, while both RTDs and thermocouples respond quickly to temperature changes, at similar costs, thermocouples are often faster. Thermistors can be selected if temperature measurement is to be carried out in a small space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. See you soon. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if not subscribed already and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.